the like floppier the better. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. Or if you're new, hello, my name is Kiriel. Welcome to the channel. I hope you decide to stick around. Today I'm looking very, um, well, yellow. A summery with my cherry earrings and the yellow, but I just really wanted to wear this dress, okay? I still got my pajama bottoms on, but I really wanted to just wear this dress because I love the color of it. And while well, it's going to waste while I sit in my house, so I thought I'd just throw it on today. <laughs> Today, I'm so excited for this video. You may have just seen Nikki Tutorials has just uploaded a video very similar to this. I think it's kind of obvious she's the inspiration to this video, but I loved it. She used a Instagram filter to choose her makeup and I was like, I wanna do that. <laughs> The Instagram filter she used was called Makeup Picker, I think it was, and it chose like pretty much everything. Lashes, foundation, concealer, eyeshadow even. So I went straight onto Instagram as soon as I saw that video. I downloaded the filter, I had it all ready for the next day to film. I went to go use it and it had gone. Uh, I don't know what's happened, but Instagram has now deleted that filter. However, I have found one that I can still use for this video. It's a little bit different. It's not going to tell me the exact products. However, I found one that says, what makeup brand are you? So I thought I could use this to decide what makeup brand I use for my products today. So yeah, I'm super excited. I love doing it when I let my Instagram followers choose my makeup. That was a fun video. I just truly like having other people do the thinking for me. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but I'll just leave that there. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do a screen recording of my screen so you can see what the filter looks like and see what we get. Okay, so this is the filter right here and this is what it shows on top. I think I want to do my eyeshadow first, so let's start that. Okay, so let's see what eyeshadow palette we can pick out with whatever brand is given to us. Elf. Ooh, I have an e.l.f. palette. Oh, that's great actually because I have two of the bite-sized eyeshadow palettes that I really wanted to try. I don't think they're gonna have a base, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a concealer brand and I'll use that for my eyeshadow and then we'll do our eyeshadow. So what concealer are we using today? Too Faced. I do have a Too Faced concealer, which I actually really love, which is great. We've got the Multi Sculpting Concealer. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we'll get started with the eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly prime with the Too Faced concealer. Okay, so for the eyeshadow palettes, I've got the Carnival Candy and then also Pumpkin Pie. They don't really have that much color apart from the pop of blue, which I'm wearing yellow and red, so I don't really want to put blue on because I think I'm gonna look crazy. <laughs> Maybe I could do like a matte look today with like these warm nude shades that'll look quite nice. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Carnival palette and take this little peachy nude shade and I'm just gonna fluff this all over the lid. It's very similar to my skin tone. <laughs> okay, that took a little bit of building but it is a very, very fair shade. Next from the Pumpkin Pie palette, I'm gonna take this warm brown shade and I'm gonna fade this into the pale shade we just put on. It is so pigmented, oh my gosh. I've heard so many good things about these palettes that I just really wanted to try them out. Just kind of using this brush to softly bring it down in the crease a little. I don't really want to do a cut crease, but I want to bring a little bit more definition, you know? These are very pigmented. They're quite dusty as well, but they're blending out well, so can't complain. Okay, so for a little bit of a smoky liner kind of moment, I'm going to go in with the Carnival palette and this warm tone shade right here. And I'm just going to stamp this right at the lash line. These are really nice pigmented shadows for so cheap. Literally, this was a three pound little palette, you know, it's so, so good. It'd be even kind of messy where I'm putting it down, to be honest. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush and I'm literally just going to blend the edges in. I've made it quite thick because of my hooded eyelid, but in doing this, it really helps give the illusion of a cat eye, but not have the harshness and, you know, be a real problem with my lids. <laughs> just like so. Really elongates the eye. You can see on this side, I kind of have to do like a little bat wing. <laughs> so then when I completely relax my eyes, they're, you know, more or less straight, but that's fine. With this little blending trick, it just merges everything together and it doesn't look as harsh. I will say though, these eyeshadow palettes are really good. They're not as good as their more expensive ones. They're like £10 palettes, which is kind of a given because they're literally a third of the price. <laughs> they're still really good and still really blendable and you can create a pretty look with them. Now I'm kind of digging this all matte eye look. I can't remember the last time I've done something like this. <laughs> So now I'm gonna move on to mascara. Mascara. Mirror, mirror on the wall, please tell me. 
what's the best brand of them all? Maybelline. I should probably have a Maybelline mascara somewhere. Let's have a look. What the heck? I don't have any Maybelline mascaras. They're all L'Oreal. All right, I need a different brand. Please give me one that I've actually got now. What you got for me? L'Oreal. <laughs> Yay. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Bambi Eye False Lash Mascara. I don't know how much I've got left in this baby, but we shall see. This is a really good mascara. I'm not sure how many brands this thing actually has, by the way. <laughs> I'm guessing it's just a selection of the most popular brands. <laughs> I really think I need to either get a new one or get rid of this mascara, because it's on its last legs, it's very dry. All right, so I think we should try brows next and see what we get. I don't have that many brow products, so hopefully I'll pick one that I actually have. <laughs> what have you got for me? L'Oreal again, okay. I do have one L'Oreal brow product and it's the L'Oreal brow pomade, which I used in one of my last videos. This is a little harsh for my brows, but you know what? Let's just go all out, shall we? <laughs> I'm gonna lightly put this on my brows. Try and not make it too harsh, you know? It's just very dark. <laughs> okay, I've kind of made a bit of a mess. I'm probably gonna have to go in with concealer to clean that up, <laughs> but it's fine. It is pretty much dried up, so it's not too creamy or anything. So I'm just like lightly feathering it through my brow. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this brow. I may do soap brows because it's not gonna pick a gel for me, I imagine, because I don't have that many brow gels. Just to make sure where my brows are set, I'm gonna put some soap through them, just to set them. Be right back. All right, brows are all done and set. I'm pretty happy with them. Now, let's move on to primer, I guess. Tell me, what should I prime the skin with? MAC, okay. I have a few things that are MAC, so let me just, See what I got. Okay, so I've got MAC Strobe Cream, and then I've also got the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base. I think I might just use both. Is that against the rules? I don't know, but I want to do it. I'll put the natural radiance on first and see if that's enough radiance for me. If not, then I'll go in with MAC Strobe Cream. I can't quite remember how this feels or looks, but let's just try it out. <laughs> this feels so good on the skin. So refreshing. <laughs> okay, that has actually given quite a lot of luminosity to my skin, but I think it's just the hydration, you know, so this will probably dry down in a second. Just massaging it into my face because it feels nice. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go in with the tiniest amount of strobe cream, not too much. I'm just gonna like pop it on like the high points of my face just to really emphasize on the glow. I mean, I'm wearing summery colors, so I want summery skin. <laughs> okay, what brand should I use for foundation? Tell me. Oh, mystical Snapchat filter. L'Oreal Paris. Okay, I can use fresh wear. That's great. <laughs> okay, my camera just died, but we just had L'Oreal for the foundation choice. Immediately, I went to Fresh Wear, but I was also thinking about adding in Pro Glow. I haven't used it in ages, and it is too dark for me, but I think mixed in with this will even it out a little, and I really wanna just mix it up, and it's L'Oreal, so again. <laughs> Not gonna use that much Pro Glow because I know it'll darken my foundation too much otherwise. But let's just mix this up and apply. I'm so excited to have some glowy skin. Ugh. L'Oreal, you, I mean, fragrance your foundation so much, like they don't need that much fragrance. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that coverage and the glow. Oh my gosh. I had a few close calls, so I should probably pin my hair back. <laughs> All right, let me just go in with my Too Faced concealer, conceal these under eyes. I just realized my nose is so streaky. <laughs> All right, let's just blend this in. Such a beautiful concealer. I really need to watch Hercules tonight because ever since Ariana Grande did the sing-along with I Won't Say I'm In Love, I keep singing it over and over and over again and I need to get it out of my head. <laughs> I'm going in with the second layer but just letting it to set for a little bit to get a little bit more coverage. But while we do that, let's decide on a powder. What you got for me? Fenty Beauty. Okay, okay. I have the Fenty Beauty powder, so we can do that. While we're here, I'm just gonna pick a brand for bronzer, blush, and contour. Let's just get them all chosen right now. What you got for blush? Yeah, yeah. NARS, okay, I can use my NARS palette. Yeah. What about highlight? Yeah, yeah. MAC, okay, I do have one MAC highlighter. Great. <laughs> I have an oldie, but a goodie, which I can never get open. 
MAC Soft and Gentle. I'm hoping when I put my bronzer and that on, this will go okay because it is a little bit too dark and that's why I don't use it anymore. Although you can see, I have put quite a dent in this. <laughs> and finally, let's do bronzer. What are you gonna give me? NYX. NYX? Do I have NYX? Pretty sure I don't. Oh, actually, I have their contour kit. I can use that. Yay. Okay, so we have the Fenty Beauty Butter Loose Powder, the NARS Exposed Blush Palette, the NYX Contour Kit, which is well loved. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't reached for this in ages. It has been a while. And then MAC Soft and Gentle. I'm gonna quickly end out this concealer because it's been sitting for a while now. <laughs> Still blends so effortlessly though. So I'll just set my face with the Fenty Butter Loose Setting Powder. I'll go in with a tiny amount just to set down the concealer a little bit. Okay, let's just do a little bit of bronzing and contouring with the next palette. It's nice to start using this is it started putting really pink on me so we'll see if it's still doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the most used shade by here to contour <laughs> and I'm just gonna sculpt out a little bit. I want to be more bronze today than sculpted I think because I'm given quite a summery vibe. So let's just see how this works out. Is anything happening? <laughs> I mean I know I'm going in cautiously but literally nothing's coming off. Okay there we go. Just giving a little bit of definition. All right we'll soften that jawline with some bronzer because uh, that's a bit extreme. Just gonna zoom you guys out a little. You're a little bit close and you can't see what's going on. You kind of see the full picture now you know. Try and do a little bit of a soft nose contour. All right to bronze I think I'm gonna go in with the top shade up here maybe. I don't know. Okay upon swatching I think we're gonna do the second one down. <laughs> The top one is just a little bit too orange. This was the worst brush to try and put in this pan. <laughs> too small. Let's just try and soften this contour a little bit. I love having like big fluffy brushes to do my bronzer because it just makes it like so effortless. I'm gonna bronze in up my cheeks as well. Bring back some color to my skin. We better calm down this jawline because this is a bit insane today. <laughs> and take a little bit across the nose as well. I did forget how good this NYX contour kit was. Really soft, really easy to blend. And yeah, it hasn't come across as pink as it was. It looks good right now. I'm quite happy with that. Now time for blusher. What color should I go in with? I wanna go to pink because I'm wearing red. I also won't really go with this eyeshadow. So I'm thinking peachy is gonna be the best kind of color. I used this in a video that I just filmed, so I don't wanna use that one again. <laughs> So I think this middle one is going to be our best bet. You know, these are quite sheer, so I thought going in with like a denser brush would be better, but now I think it may be too much. <laughs> we shall just see. The more blush, the better. I've just ordered the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush and Bronzer. Expect a video on that soon. I'm so excited to try those. Make sure you're subscribed so you get to see my thoughts on that and also see the shades work on my pale ass complexion. <laughs> you know what, actually, this brush has worked quite well for that blush. Such a pretty shade. I've started taking my blush up like quite high. Because I am so fair, I feel like I can kind of get away with it, you know, because I don't tan or anything like that So I can't get away with too much bronzer, but blush I feel like I can get away with a lot and I'm quite happy about it <laughs> I never used to be that big of a blush person, but now I can't go without it A little bit on the nose as well Blend it all together, you know. Hoping as well because I'm taking it so high that it'll help merge my highlighter in. I can never open this freaking highlighter. I don't even have nails for an excuse, okay? I cannot wait to have my nails done once the quarantine is over, okay? I've been struggling with these and I keep painting them with a nude nail polish and it keeps chipping. And I don't want to buy new nail polish because I know I'm never going to use it after quarantine. So <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> So I'm gonna do like a soft glow with this hopefully. I have not used this highlighter in literally years. <laughs> hopefully do a little bit of a soft glow. It's gonna give me a dark cast. Oh, it doesn't really look like it is. That is great. I'm gonna kind of bring it onto the cheek a little as well. Just why not? <laughs> I forgot about the spot I had on the cheek over here. It was not a good idea to highlight that on my face. <laughs> I'm just going back in with my blush brush and just kind of like merging it all together. Do a little bit on the nose. All the usual places, you know. I forgot how like blendy that highlighter was, you know. Just merges into your skin. It's beautiful. I think I now want to do set and spray and then we'll finish up the eyes and do lips. All right, what am I setting my face with? Please pick for me. Urban Decay, yay, all nighter it is. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm gonna set it and forget it. I so wish I still had the summer scent that they did. Oh my god, that was so good. I hope they bring it back this year. Like, please Urban Decay, please bring it back. 
I'm really actually loving my makeup right now, which is great. Just gonna quickly finish up my eyes. I'm just gonna take this brown shade from the Pumpkin Pie palette. I'm just taking that about halfway across the lid. Now from the Carnival palette, I'm taking the pale colour we used all over the lid and I'm just going to put that in the inner third. And that's all I really want to do for the eyeshadow, I'm just going to add some lower lash mascara. And now let's do lips. Um, I don't have that many brands for lip liner, I literally just have Primark and NYX pretty much and one Huda Beauty one. <laughs> I really need to try different lip liners. Um, but let's do lipstick. Okay, what brand for lipstick? Fenty Beauty. Not my favourite, but okay, we'll do it. The only way that I can use the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint is with a lip liner. So I'm going to use this Primark one, which is in the shade Toast, and then we'll put that over top. Okay, so I've just applied that and kind of faded it in the edges a little bit. And then I've got the shade Unbutton in the Stunner Lip Paint. This is a very nude <laughs> look today, but that's fine. I'm just going to pat this on the centre and blend it out with my fingertip. See, even just that tiny amount was way too much. <laughs> this formula just is too liquidy for me. <laughs> All right, and that, ladies and gents, is the completed makeup look. Apart from lashes, because I don't think I have any of the branded lashes that are in this selection. I honestly wish the little filter that Nikki Tutorials was using was still available. I would have had actual products suggested to me then, but I actually quite like my makeup today. I think I'm gonna go quickly throw on a pair of lashes, because I feel like this deserves some. I'm gonna go do that real quick, and then I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I added on some lashes. These are the ones that I cannot pronounce by Prima Lashes. Alia. I don't quite know how to say it, but I just cut them like in half and put them on the outer corner to enhance the kind of feline flick that we've got going on. It's so nice to have somebody else pick my makeup for me. I mean, I know they didn't pick the products, but it's simplified everything and just culled it down to the products that I have. And I don't know, it was a little bit of fun. Highly recommend if you're in a rut, if you don't know what products to use and you want some inspiration, use this filter and see if it gets you trying some products maybe you haven't tried in a while, because it did that for me. <laughs> Obviously this filter didn't have every single brand that I owned, but it's just a little bit of fun and I got a nice makeup look out of it, so I ain't mad. <laughs> Obviously all the credit goes to Nikki Tutorials for starting this kind of trend. I don't know if anybody else before her did it, but I'm gonna credit her because hers is the first one I've seen. And yeah, that is it for this video. I'm gonna love you and leave you now. If you're new, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. Until the next one, I shall see you. Bye, guys. Oh, if you know. Well, what did I just say? Wish that Laurie would stop reversing already. <laughs> Done. Stupid car alarm, man. It's like the fifth time it's gone off where it's not working for me today. <laughs> Got damn earrings. <laughs> Bless me. <clears throat> oh, I apologize deeply. Summer is here, baby. It's here. I, I've made it official, okay? Don't argue with me. <laughs> alrighty ho, alrighty ho. I think I'm done. Woo. This took me like three hours to film. Just an FYI. I need a coffee.